do you have a favorite era? Oh, that's a tough question. <laughs> <laughs> well, first answer that comes to my mind is uh, Paul Cutler, the, the Paul, Paul B. Cutler era from the top of my mind, I would say from 84 to 88. He's just such a fascinating guitar player. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I love all the other players, uh, but I'm just so amazed every time when I see him play. Well, actually see him play on video because he's he, he's not doing this anymore. Yeah. But uh. <laughs> <laughs> do you, so when you decided to do this, when you, when you decided to take it on, did you immediately go back? Uh, did you have, what, what was your, I mean, the process in, in which you became familiar with them? Did you start at the beginning or did you start with what you, you know, what you like best or what you knew when you started seeing him and, or when you saw him for the first time, Steve Wynn himself? Uh, just, you mean just discovering his music yeah. or with the film? Yeah, for, with, for, for yourself and for separately for the film. For myself, I started, um, yeah, with the album that uh, they recorded, Static Transmission, in 2003, when I first saw them. That was the first album that I heard, which for everyone who's listening, uh, this album has one of the standout tracks that everyone who likes guitar music should hear, <laughs> Amphetamine. If you don't like that song, then Steve Wynn is probably not for you. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, after this, uh, I, I started, yeah, for the first few years, probably chronologically, I, I learned about his music. And then after a while, I started going back in time, hearing older songs on his live shows. Um, yeah, that's how I discovered his music. And there was a lot to discover. Mm, yeah, he's, he's very prolific. Such, such a prolific <laughs> songwriter and mm -hmm. musician. And, and did you come to L.A. and do like a... like? discover you know you know go see where they played i know you you know a lot of these interviews where were they conducted was was it in los angeles or what um a lot of them it's uh most rare um interviews were recorded actually where uh the musicians are living at the moment okay so you had to travel uh, all over yeah, the, yeah. There's, uh, steve is living in new york right now um dennis is still living here in pasadena mm -hmm. um Jason is also in New York and Mark is living in Las, uh, Las Vegas at the moment. So it was, it was a nice road trip to see everyone. And of course, all the affiliates to the band. 